In this video, we'll take a look at the red, red wrapped Simon K speed control that are available on eBay for about six bucks a piece. And I purchased several of these to use on my quadcopter, and they seem to be working okay. But I was curious about uh, what was on these things and whether I could upgrade them. So after stripping off the red shrink wrap, we're faced with a pretty generic speed control that has an Atmel 18 mega processor on it. And when you look at this board, uh, one of the things that you'll notice is that it does not have an external oscillator. So uh, after doing a bit of research and uh, finding some posts from Simon K himself, um, th these are not uh, the speed controls that can be upgraded to uh, use the new BL Heli um, firmware. So, so looking at these purely from a Simon K perspective, uh, what can we do with these things? So after a bit of fiddling around, I was able to get some wire soldered onto the uh, pads on the speed control and looking closely at this speed control uh, see if we can get focus here um, there's going to be uh, six pads that you can use on these things um, basically there will be three at the top near the capacitor and three at the bottom so I have my wires soldered onto those things and was able to get them connected up to an AVR programmer. So these AVR programmers are available on eBay. You can get these for about two bucks a piece, but um, they work great. I used them for another project, and on the back of this of the uh, AVR programmers, uh, they'll have uh, the pins identified. You'll have uh, Voltage VCC, MOSI, um, you have a pin that's not used, reset, SCK, and MISO, and ground. So those are the pins you'll want to use, and you get this long ribbon cable that basically echoes the layout um, identified on the printed circuit board. So what I've done is I've just taken some ribbon cable, uh, plugged it in, and made a straight flat connector for another project. So, so basically I can just trace these these wires back and identify them. So I have the ground on one end and the rest of them lined up here. So after soldering on the um, wires, I was able to get these uh, soldered up to a header pin, which was pretty difficult. Um, kept on melting the plastic, but eventually got it on and I was able to connect it up to my AVR programmer. So, one of the things that I noticed was I could use um, BL Heli Suite to uh, actually read this thing. And I got this thing hooked up to BL Heli and was able to verify the, the firmware. So, let me go ahead and uh, show you guys how to do that. So, on my trusty little netbook here, I have the BL Heli Suite up and running. So what I'm going to do, uh, let me go back here. First thing I'll do is I will connect up the speed control to my AVR programmer. And I already have my pins uh, arranged in the correct order. Make sure I get the ground on the ground here. So that's good enough. Take my programmer and get it plugged into my little netbook. So that was uh, five volts hitting the speed control and heard the beep dead in it. So it's powered up. So let's take a look at the um, BL Heli Suite here. So one of the options is uh, ESC tools and uh, verify, verify flash memory. So I'll hit that 
and it goes through its uh, paces and it comes up with a list of um, uh, speed controls and these are all BL Heli specific so since we're doing Simon K I'm just gonna hit this button that says ignore the list and pick a file and I've already downloaded all of the uh, Simon K uh, firmware versions and uh, I started going through these starting with the most current heading back in time and eventually I got to this 2012 uh, 930 version of it and I selected the tgy.hex file I hit this open button and AVR dude goes and does its thing verifying and it comes back and says target successfully verified no differences found and then it asks you to show the binary memory content and I'm not interested in that so all I was concerned with it that it was successfully verified and for the rest of them it just failed so when I finally hit this one it was like jackpot wow now I know what it is so I know what version of Simon K is on this it's um, from 2012 uh, September 30th and it definitely is Simon K using the tgy.hex file so I'm going to go ahead and click the no button here um, I've only used this BL Heli suite to verify the software so so one thing I'll do is I'll just go ahead and close out on this BL Heli and start up on this other tool called the uh, KK flash tool so while that's coming up let's just go back and uh, do a quick test on this setup I um, have it on a board here connected to a little motor and uh, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and uh, disconnect the EVR programmer for now and let's just power this thing up hit a battery on this thing I turn on my transmitter first let's see let's do a calibration first on the transmitter let's let's uh, hit the stick on high while we're powering up the ESC and we'll look for those tones turn on the transmitter actually the transmitter was not on so let me do that once again transmitter is now on have the throttle now set to high and I'll go ahead and power up that ESC powered up, I got that beep, and I'll pull the stick down alright so now this Simon K ESC is now calibrated and let's just go ahead and uh, rev that engine just or that motor just a little bit here alright so basically this uh, seems fairly responsive no glitches in there doesn't seem to lose timing so let me just go ahead and power everything down here and let's go back to connecting up the AVR programmer so we'll go ahead and plug that in again heard the da -da -da tone from the ESC powering up and now let's look at the KK multicopter tool so this is up I already have the correct uh, COM port selected we got COM5 default baud rate is 19.2 and so what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to instead of going onto the internet and having it download I'll just go ahead and select the file tab and browse to all of the versions of uh, software that I have on my my flash drive here so so let me just scroll over and I'll find the latest version that I downloaded so the latest version of Simon K that I have was from 2015 September 12th so I'll go ahead and select that hit the open button 
lists the contents of the directory and I'm going to go ahead and select the tgy.hex file and hit open. Now that it has it, I'll go ahead and hit the flash button here. We'll flash. AVR dude does its thing. Give it a second here. All right. So verifying AVR dude um, exe 8192 bytes of flash verified. AVR dude exe done. Thank you. Okay, so that should be enough really to tell you that it's working. But let's go ahead and bring up the um, BL Heli Suite and do the verify again. So I have this up now and let me just go ahead and hit the ESC tools to verify the flash memory. It's asking me what to, again, what to compare it to. So I'll hit the ignore the pick list, ignore the list, pick a file. And so this was from the last time I verified using the 2012 version. So let's go and take a look at the 2015 version from 9.12 that I just loaded. And go ahead and find the tgy.hex file, open, BL Heli Suite invokes AVR dude and gives me the message target successfully verified, no differences found. All right, so this is telling me that we have successfully upgraded the Simon K ESC from eBay to the latest version. So I'll hit the no button and let's just go back and power this sucker up. We'll go ahead and, and uh, unplug the programmer. Let's go back and power this thing up. And let's um, calibrate that throttle first. So I'm first turn on transmitter. And I will hit the throttle on to full. Connect up the battery. And let's uh, bring that throttle down. Calibration tones there, and let's go ahead and give it a rev. So, can't tell, but it seems like it might be a little bit more responsive, but won't know until I get all of my ESCs flashed on my multi-copter here. So, well, that'll be for another day, folks. Um, we'll get my um, Reptile 500, um, get all the ESCs um, firmware upgraded, and uh, see how she flies. Thank you.